Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. Gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did. He goes so fucking fast. Anyways. Boy, am I nervous! Right! Oh, hi, Chief! Uh, oh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say Phoenix out in press. Not everyone takes a murder trial right off the bat like this. This is a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you know that you, you knew the defendants before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to them. It's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help. I want to help him out any way you can. Let me put that down. I just really want to help. I just really want to help him. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life. Everything. It's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death. Despair. Oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Nick! Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. And I'm finished. Finished! I can't live it. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Mm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspaper say it was you. Shit. Oh my god. Lore. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's my story. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. The woman was killed in her apartment. The guy was arrested. The guy that they arrested was an unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school- When our school had some- Had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That I owe him once, which is why I took the case to clear his name. That is what I'm going to do. Yes. August August 3rd at 10 a.m. District Court District District Court Court Room number two. Court is in session for the trial, Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The uh, uh, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright. This is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, a little nervous. Your conduct during the trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge for your client's case, and I hope that you can control your nerves. Th thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, I'm shaking. Eyesight. Fading. This test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Place it the name of the defendant in the case. It is Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll be fine. Next question. This murder trial. Tell me, what is the victim's name? <sighs> I was one. Glad I wrote the case, ref case report co uh, cover to cover. Too, so many times. It's. Wait. Oh. No. No way. I forgot. I'm trying a, a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the victim. Of course I know the victim's name. I just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is enlisted in the court record. Just press tab and check it open. Remember the chicken opt-in. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Yes, ma'am. I don't believe I was defensive and didn't take this. Okay. R. Mia Fey. Good boss. A very good defense attorney. Defendant in the case. Like a guy. He's been my friend since grade school. 
The victim in this case, a model, she lived in an apartment with Cindy Stone. Press the kid for this case, lacks presence, generally bad at its core points across. Okay, so Cindy Stone. Okay, because it does do the blunt trauma. Good for you. I just saw lag. My stream lag. It went. Is everything okay? Everything's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just went like, oh no, we're gone to. Oh, we're back. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you seem more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, are. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Can you explain the quote what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to court records. Statues of the thinker is rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any event to add to any evidence. Added during the trial. The evidence is the only I mean, um, ammunition you have in court. Use tab. Okay. Wow, it goes so fast. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You'll miss any information that might help you in the client's case. You get a chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Ahem. Mr. Butts, is not true that the victim had recently dumped you. Hey, watch, buddy. We're great together. Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Um, did they all die? I wasn't dumped. I just want to answer my phone calls or ever see me. Ever. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, would you describe it? it's generally what you mean by dumped? If actually had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She returned to season one of them the day before the murder. I should be one of them. Lies! All of it, lies! I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in, in Paris the day, the day before she died. Okay. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude. No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Or sugar? <laughs> yes, older man who gave her money and gifts. She took the money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. <laughs> we can we can clearly see what kind of woman Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer the question. Yeah, Larry has a way to running his mouth all the wrong directions. Should I? Uh... No, let's stop him. My client has no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof! Mm. Dude! Nick! What do you mean irrelevant? She- She did- That cheating she-dog! I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna drop dead! Yeah. Uh huh? Let's get to you with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question! You went to the victim's apartment to the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you, or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. What the fuck? You don't. An what the fuck, man? You don't answer like that, bro. You don't do that. Oh, he went. What do I do? Well, he has to answer honestly. We can't just stop him from that. That doesn't do good. I'll make uh, sure make him look guilty, but like, 
He's not the one who did it, so... We'll have an answer, honestly. I know. I saw him, I'll send him in single. Tell the truth! Uh, yeah, I was there. I went. Oh, the... Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution will call a witness who can prove Mr. Bus is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fling the scene of the crime. Oh, order! Order the court! Mr. Payne, the, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the night of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers in the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Hey, man. Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh, yes, yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witnesses account. Okay, here we go. Now, we the shit now. I was going, to, I was going toward the door, selling newspapers when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him, thinking a stranger looked inside the apartment. But I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in the apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Or the time exactly? It was 1 p.m. The man who ran, who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Oh, wait. Time of death, 4 p.m. to 5. Sure, you got some explaining to do. That it's not 1 p.m. Something wrong in your head, man. That's not the right thing. Cause look, four to five. That's sorry, man. That's that's. Get something wrong, bro. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I could defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, one was in the phone in the victim's apartment working. You know, under the time when the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to be working during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawat used one of those. Your Honor, I have the record of the blackout for your pursuit. Uh, from noon to 6 p.m. Okay. No, Mr. Wright. Yes, I mean, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I to do? We're supposed to post a lie testimony the witness to escape. Lies? What, he was lying? No shit, bitch! Of course he was, you dumbass! The client is innocent, right? Then the witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove it's not? Hold the key, this is evidence. Compare the witness's testimony and the evidence in hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First and... First, find contradiction between the, the court record and the witness testimony. Then, once you find the contradictory evidence, present it. And rubbers in, in the witness's face. Um, okay. Oh, the court record and the contradiction. Okay. Can't really know. It's the 1 p.m. part. Outside, really. How the phones are working? 1 p.m. Here, I know. Okay. Here. E. OBJECTION! You found the body at 1pm, you're sure? Yes, it was 1pm for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. This statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy knows the time of the death sometime after 4pm. Those on my turn are nobody to find at 1pm. How to explain this three hour gap? Oh, that! Oh, uh... -oh. This is trivial! The one is merely forgot the time! As a testimony, you find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, are you so certain you found the body at 1pm? I, uh, I, that's a really good question. 
Good job, Ray. Way to put him in a spot. That's all I have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies. Always beg it more lies. See their one and their whole story falls apart. Yes, mommy. I mean, yes, miss. Wait, I remember now. Would you like to give your testimony again? Oh my god. You see, I found the body. I heard, I heard the time. There's a voice saying the time. It's probably coming from the television. It was a blackout, bruh. Wasn't a, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the person must have, must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terrible sorry about that misunderstanding, bro. It was a blackout, dumbass. I see. I hear your voice saying the time on a tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I got this one. Oh, shit, bitch. I got this. Blackout, bitch. Uh, what I was saying? Cover the television. How could that happen? How could that happen, bitch? When there was a blackout! Hold it right there. Oh, my mother. The, the prosecution has said that was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Zerkus proves it. You cannot have heard the television or a video. Yeah, I will. Uh, the defense has a point. You may explain. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? One second, we got comfortable. One second. This man moves so fast. Oh my god. Why do you move so fast? Okay, anyway. No, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Ah! Wait, I remember now. Mr. Sawit. The court refers to he an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These caustic corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather distraught. But my apologies, Your Honor. It's I must have been shocked to finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Okay, bitch. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a tablecloth in the apartment. It wasn't there. You know, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. It must have been what I saw. With the statue, not a fucking clock. You saw a clock? I guess I would explain it. The defense would cross examine the witness. Gladly. No, but the thing. Little bit of it. The thing is, the statue is. It's a statue. It's not a clock. Yeah, it's a clock. It's a clock, bitch, dumbass. Oh god, the buzzer one he has the right weapon. The cousin. There was a devil that wasn't there. The most have been. Yeah, but like. This is a statue. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon isn't a clock. It was the statue. Now how is it supposed to be a clock? What? What's your exception to evidence? Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Y Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne? The witness stated the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. Just tilted it and says the time out loud. And it doesn't look like a clock. I submit it is my statue. It's a statue. My apologies. You are so dumb. I see. The murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony is correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with testimony now? Yes, but if they said that you would tilt the head in order for them to like hear, right? So how would you have heard the clock if you didn't tilt it? Bro, my big brain. Your Honor, there's a gasping hole in the witness. Oh, wrong voice. Your Honor, there's a gasping hole. A gaping, my bad. Gaping hole in the witness testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was the clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the department. Clearly, a contradiction. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went to the apartment. You're lying. You went to the apartment the day of the murder. Oh yeah, prove it! Prove it I went in there! I'll do better than that, I can prove you're the one who killed her. You snuck- you snuck into the clock with a sh- with a shock- with a shock of the blow, triggering the clock's voice. It was the sound you heard! Order in the court! Intriguing, please and continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left you quite an impression on you. Understandable since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What 
What's the meaning of this? This is baseless. This is a basic conjecture. Baseless? Just like the witness's face. Well, the witness cared to elaborate. Did you strike the victim with a clock? I, I, the, the day. I, I never look at the clock. No. Oh, shit. Shut, 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 shut up. I hate you. It was him. I tell you, I saw him. He killed her. And he ran into a bird. Bird! Give him death. Order! Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a moment, please. There's a shred of evidence supporting the, the defense's claims. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim those sound on the witness her claim from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is running on this, but I think through carefully. Your, Your Honor, the sound of saw is definitely this clock. She, clearly, she simply... Um... 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 Uh, okay, so let's think about this. So if you check the clock's batteries, like, what the fuck would that do, bro? Ask the neighbors? Fuck them, bro. It took a long-ass time. Try sounding the clock? What the fuck is that gonna do? Actually... Check the clock's batteries. Like, you see if it actually wasn't, but like... If it, or if it wasn't, because the batteries are in there, it doesn't still prove the fact that he tilted it. So, try sounding the clock. Because he's three hours behind, right? So, like, maybe it's three hours behind? I have no fucking idea, bro. You can try sounding the clock. Fuck it, bro. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 825. That certainly is a strange way to tell the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So you heard the clock. What is your conclusion, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, no, no, can you tell me what time it is now? It is 1125. Ugh! As you see, the clock is exactly three hours slow. Presently, the, this, the, the, Discrepancy, there it is, that word, yeah. Between what Mr. Saw heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawitz, can you talk your way out of this one? <laughs> you forgot one thing. Oh, what are you talking about now? Let me see the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know what was running in the three hours slow the day of the murder? Can you prove that? You don't have a case. He's right. How are we gonna prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack of critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indink the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. I come all this way to testify, and look what happens. You're treated like a criminal. A criminal! Your lords are such are all slime. Oh, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. What they can do about it now? Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. Me? I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Mommy! Uh, Chief! It's over! I can't prove that the clock was this slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But it doesn't mean you can still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time down in the facts. Soon the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you have your proof. Right, right. Can you think of any reason why the clock would be three hours slow? Uh. Um, yes? Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that they can prove it right. Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, so the clock was already running so on the day of the murder. Have you found any evidence to support this claim? Of course. This piece of evidence that the court record had, had that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see if you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Uh, my attorney badge. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing to do with that. Uh, passport? 
Why would the, why would a password do anything? Okay, let me let me think. Cause why would it be like three hours slow? Like she would have to change it, but why would she have to change it? Oh, cause she traveled. Yeah, she went to Paris. Yeah. Uh. Oh, uh, okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes absolute sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, okay. The victim had just returned home from the bra the day before the murder, and as we know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 3 a.m. the next day here. The clock was at 3 hours, so it was 9 hours fast. The has had it reset her clock since returning home. At that time, I heard it was struck. Her apartment was, her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit, or should I say, Mr. Did it? Okay, that's, that's pretty bad, my guy. Ugh. Oh. Go so fast. Why doesn't it go slower? O order. Order, I say. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness. You have been arrested and taken away, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone qu come complete a defense so quickly and find out the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but the court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty she let's go and with that this court is adjourned let's go let's go bro it proves how smart we are bro we are amazing <sighs> it turns out that frank saw it was a common burglar he poses a newspaper salesman and checked to see who when people were out of the house that day, Larry went to her apartment. The victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself do, to do his dirty work. We were searching her place. The victim returned. Flustered, Mrs. Sawit grabbed the nearest bullet out she could find. August 3rd, 2 32 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. <sighs> I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. Over all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. From all since I've seen a trial end in such a, in such on such a satisfying note. Never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Wait, no, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But my sentiment is gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... <sighs> Never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Uh, Harry? Yes, you. You're probably with the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. <laughs> Thanks. I really owe you one. Oh, forget this ever... I celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who took you off the hook. Oh hey, here, take this. It's a present. A, a present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that? Actually, I made this cook for it. I made her one. I made one for her and one for me. Oh really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick, can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And she was just playing me for a fool. Damn it, just wanna make you wanna cry. <laughs> Larry, are you so sure? Excuse me? I, th I think she thought of you quite a lot. I think she thought quite a lot of you in your own way. Nah, you know gonna sit but that's with me, Stokey. It's okay. What the fuck? What the fuck was that word? I'm no fucking idea. 
Oh, I'm not sympathizing, really. Is that, isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Isn't that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? Her, her re autopsy report. That's how she... Uh, I don't fucking know. The fucking statue? Oh, my foot is asleep now. Cheers, out, Larry. P positive proof that you weren't just some chump to her. Uh, what about that clock? The clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make, what it, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm so glad I asked if you're my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope I hope that made him feel no better. <clears throat> Almost burped my bed. Right? Obviously, the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully, realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. <clears throat> we never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. Or to believe in them, you must have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let, never let go on what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink the toast of innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you're saying a part of why you became a lawyer is... Oh, fuck. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You said, tell me... Uh, about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? I saw my first child came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends, and I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us unless you count the clock he gave me, huh? I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon to be another center of another incident. And my promise is to tell... And my promise about the, the chief telling me about me and Larry... We want to promise that I won't be able to keep. What? Honey! What do you mean? Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because of a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold? You want me to hold some evidence for you? Sharp as always. It's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial, and I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got gotcha. you. So what you got this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it makes it look like the statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I don't know. Girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? Not working? That's lame. I'll take the clock work out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of it and said... Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. When you come by the office tonight, say nine to pick it up. I'll be in a... I'll be in a... In a pre-trial meeting until then okay sis but i expect dinner something good like burgers i could really go for a good burger okay okay we'll hit the usual joint all right it's a deal okay sis see you soon yep i'll be waiting maya conversation recorded so september 5th 9 27 a.m oh 8 27 p.m my bad September 5th, 8 57 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, I cannot give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see you right over, th right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed all those, swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, ho, ho, you are not my... You are not conferious of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I should have been more. I, I should have been more careful. Ha oh, ha! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing: your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. 
Wait, what? What the f- Red, white, blue. America! <clears throat> sorry, sorry, that's something in my throat, bro. We're fifth, 9.08 p.m. Fame Cola offices. Oh, I'm late. Oh, that's strange. The chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so so we should go all out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. I'm examining. Wait. Anything here? No. Okay, move. Office. That smell. Blood. What's this? Someone's there. No, girl. Ch Chief? Chief? Chief! Who are you? Oh, shit. Strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. But she finally was cold. Chief. Bro, call the police! Chief. Probably seeing you like this, but is there any clues here? She was stuck in the head with a blunt object. Probably died instantly. The girl leg next to her must have been the murder weapon. It's actually a clock. Okay. So there's some glass shards with she's body. It must have been pieces of glass. Less than lying broken in the back of the room. Court record. Nothing else seems to be a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper? Must have fallen out of Mia's hands. What could it be? Where that written in blood? This copper of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? These are papers I received from the department store dated yesterday. I think it's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing in there. Okay, since the, the light stand. Okay. Just share. So we have functional designs. These that could sit in something there, but let's see anything here. Very close to your book. Everything written was all Jenny Harvard in a small office, but makes good money. Surprising, the chief was never good with machines. All she used to PC was was email. Picked up an ancient model, some garage sales, probably nothing. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. I feel like the screws. The screws on the receiver are missing. So someone was halfway through taking the part. Police? Please come quickly. What was that? Someone screaming from inside the window? Oh shit. She's staring right at me. Holding the phone in her hand. Large building across the office. The Gateway Hotel. A nice luxurious place. Shit, bitch. Then we're back here. That girl just now. Where'd she go? Put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh, I should have run on me. Yay! Don't scare me like that! Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. You ever should show her the receipt? I thought we use the use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. What happened? She used to be in shock. I won't disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Tell me what happened. I came in the room. I came in. The room was dark. And sis, sis, she was already dead. I'm the chief. So you're the chief's sister. I'm a younger sister. You're here visiting this late at night. Yes, she said she wanted to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was the clock. It was the thinker. Oh, shit. Let me show her this. Before Mia died, she wrote the message in her own blood. She wrote on the back of the receipt. Th th that's my name! W why? Why would she write my name? P please just calm down. Why would this write my name? 
Uh oh, I think I've done it. The police! It's like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Oh! Well, hello. How you doing? Alright, I'm Detective Gun Dig Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. You see the part from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been the woman I saw. Anyway, I don't think either of I don't I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. My wait, she could have nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek. This word Mia. This word Maya. Here mean anything to you? Um, that that's my name. What? The victim drew drew this drew this here knowing her own blood, see? With her own dying breath, she could have wrote on the killer's name. The killer case closed, join with me with the prank set, ma'am. Wait. Me using her sister Maya was arrested on the spot. Uh, I was taken in for questioning. I didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for the visiting hours to begin at the detention center. Talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6. Now I go 7 a.m. Detention center visiting room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She just looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. It's up to you. Get to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After you're the one in trouble here. They're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today, my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Huh, so he crashed and burned? So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing is lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I, just, I can't just sit by and watch. But to think of the person who did this to Maya. The Mia, my bad. I, I know. Let's talk about Maya. Something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? It's just, it's just what all Alokites wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Alokites? Like, people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. That's a, a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. The day of the crime. Tell me more of the day of the murder. Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming travel. trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock should be like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could have that been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. Okay, let's go cell phone. So say you have your conversation with your sister on the cell phone. Let's hear it. Right! Oh, I just remember the detectives took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right, of course. That's how I see the gun shoe. I'll ask him for it. I'll write, you, I'll write you a note so you won't forget, okay? Sure, thanks.
I'm so sorry, my dad came into my room. Okay. Sure, thanks. My eyes now added to the court record. I have a question on my cell phone. Let's speak with him. So you're an alokite, uh, a medium in training. That's right. The Fae family, expected, especially the woman, have been very sensitive to, to the spirit world. Wait a second. You say the Fae family. So Mia was into that, this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her parents were the first class too. I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? <clears throat> Pardon me. So you're real honest to God spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. So can you just contact me or spirit then? You can just ask who, ask her who killed her. I I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I could do some I can't do something on that level. Hmm. Hope that would be too easy. Um Huh? Something the matter? Um I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. This is an actress of a famous lawyer. She just gave me this a long time ago. So if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you can ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure, man. Sure. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I had no one else to, retur to turn to. Say, what about your parents? Uh, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. But what? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy's refuses? Then they, they told me that I won't find, find one. The state will pick an attorney to defend me. Then... Then... When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Vincent Holm was up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. The other crime? One more time. With the more the crime? Sorry, I know it's too hard. No, it's okay. I've been doing this the last few hours just talking about it. It's kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold the piece of evidence for our upcoming trial. I said, think your clock that you made. Probably the call for a serial murder by now. So then what do you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then they found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's what I need to hear for now.